Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have unlocked my final fifth tier tower on the Monkey Buccaneer, the Trade Empire. Okay, this thing generates more cash per round, increases cash earned by up to 20 other merchantmen, increases merchantman damage, okay? And yes, I'm in White Wasteland. And the reason I'm in White Wasteland is because I just keep surrendering because we need this map to be docks. Yeah, let's go. Docks, docks, docks. Don't skip it. Do not skip. Yes, we got docks. Beautiful, finally, I don't have to surrender again because today we're out. We're using Trade Empire, okay? And to use Trade Empire, effectively, we need lots of space for water towers and stuff. And yeah, this is the strat we're going today. Now, you can go and you can go and roast me all you want in the comments for using Dartling, but I don't care, okay? We're going Dartling today, okay? Because Dartling's fun and it's going to let us get up like billion merchantmen. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fun. You guys are gonna enjoy this. You're gonna see how good Trade Empire is. I usually hate when I get docks. I usually hate it. And I, uh, like, when I, when I don't want to see docks, I find docks. And when I do actually want to see docks, I don't find docks. And I drop 10 trophies. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're against Alan Fierro. Alan Fierro. A very, very cool name. Um, good luck, Mr. Alan. Very good luck. Let's see if we can get down the Trade Empire with probably 20 Merchantmans or, or close to 20. I'm not going to count or anything, but and then, yeah, we're going to see how much money it makes us per round. So Alan is getting up that. I really want to send yellows here, Alan, but I have a feeling you're not going to be able to defend them. All right, and boost in three, two, one, and boost. Okay, we're going to stop sending and we'll send again. Alan, can you defend these or what, buddy? Can you defend these? Oh, now he can. Perfect. And he still boosts. Now you're good. What? Before you were actually struggling to them. Now you're good. And now you decide to boost. What? I do not understand. Anyways, Alan's down two boosts now. So that's kind of good for us. Oh, uh, gosh. I only dropped ten trophies. And the skill level is just quite a bit lower. Okay? It wasn't really high in the first place. Let's be honest, okay? Uh, ceramic Crucible. Is not super high tier. I think now is probably about the time. Like, maybe we'll equal with blues here. Let's go ahead and get up. First merchant man, 300 bucks. Not great, but not terrible. 300 bucks is pretty good. All right, let's keep going. And I guess uh, we'll go back to yellows here. We'll go back to yellows. We still do need more eco. Uh, the amount of eco we got right now, 1100, is just not, not going to cut it. 1100 eco is not going to cut, especially for a game that's on docks, okay? Docks, obviously, the longest map, so you should be able to get uh, a lot of eco, a lot of eco on this map. So, yeah, we are going to need to get up as much as we can, as much as we can, so that we can afford, obviously, the Trade Empire, which I think it's 23,000, maybe 24,000. Not even too sure, not even too sure. All right, yeah, we only have one merchant man. I don't know if it's really worth it going for more yet. Like, I feel like Eco's just superior. Okay, anyways, we'll go for two. Two merchant mans. I mean, that's that's 600 bucks around, so that's pretty darn good. Super monkey. All right, interesting, Alan. Interesting indeed. Indeed. All right, 1,500 Eco here. That's quite solid. That is quite solid. But we just kind of want to Eco the entire game. Not going to want to stop at all. Not going to want to stop. Oh, can we get this before the round ends? Oh, no, we were a little slow. little slow. We didn't have that eco in time. That's fine. Oh, wizard! Yo, he's got a dragon's breath down. Okay, Alan, I see you. I see you, Alan. I see you. All right, we are getting up so many merchantmans now. This is kind of crazy. We can just, like, almost, like, instantly place them. All right, I think now... We probably want to go for a favored traits or flavored traits, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. All right. So yeah, seven thousand dollars. It's a lot of money, but it'll give us a thousand bucks per round, which is pretty darn good. Okay, so we're gonna go for it after this eco boost here. Okay, so we'll go for that. Let's target our dartling up here, just so we don't die to this um, Moab. We would not want to die to a Moab. That would be very unfortunate. Especially considering the amount of games I have surrendered because we haven't got docks. 
<laughs> you guys don't even know how many I've literally surrendered. I mean, you can tell by my trophies, but like, yeah, I've surrendered quite a few. Quite a few games. Okay. We have a decent amount of merchantmans now. I'm kind of thinking I want to save up for... Yeah, I think I really want to save up for the Trade Empire now. We've got like 10, 15 boats, I think. Trade Empire, 23k. It's pretty expensive. It is not cheap at all. Definitely not cheap. But I think... I hope... I think and I hope it'll be worth it. I don't I don't know. It buffs the amount of money that all of my All right, let's just stop equing. We're going to try and afford this thing. Okay? Uh we can Oh my gosh, we're so close to affording it here. So close, guys. Okay, these fortified ceramics. I think we're good. Trade Empire. Let's get grape shot and hop shot hot shot on it. And then we'll continue on equing. 465 bucks. Oh, that's so good. That's actually so good. Okay, it buffs up to 20 of these. So I guess we'll just try and get 20, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how many exactly 20 is, but we'll just kind of, I guess we're just kind of eyeballing it. Just kind of eyeballing it. Um, wow. Okay. This is pretty good though. All making us 465 bucks. That's really good. That's actually really good. Okay. I do need to, however, think about um, DDTs. Okay. So we're going to get some decamoing here. Definitely. And then I think we'll probably just go for like an XXL trap. Because it's docks, this map's pretty long. I don't know how many of these things, these cleansing foams we need to uh, to, to decamo DDTs. But I, I'm not risking it. Three, maybe we'll get a fourth one as well. Like I really do not want to die to DDTs. I do not want to die to DDTs. Okay, 4,000 eco almost. I'm going to go for uh, an XXXXL trap. XXXL trap. Dude, I... Uh, it's so many X's. So many X's, man. Okay, this thing sells for 27000 So, if I do happen to get sent DDTs, we can sell this thing and, like, a couple merchantmans or something. And we can uh, get up an XXXL trap. Oh, it's such a tongue twister saying that. And then we can defend the rush. We can defend the rush. All right, so... Yeah, and honestly, we don't even need to sell any more than just this thing. So, yeah, I'm hoping he doesn't send me DDTs here. No, we also do have Omen's Trees. I guess we can place those down. That's such a bad spot, though. Such a bad spot. All right, let's go. Let's keep going with these. Let's maybe upgrade these to a couple favored trades here. I want to see just, like, how much money we're making per round. We have to be clicked on this, though, in case we need to somehow sell it. In case we need to sell it. Okay, round 27. Round 27. All right, maybe going for an XXXL trap. Oh my gosh. I hate saying that upgrade. I hate saying that. All right, 50K. So we only need 54K. This thing's so overpowered. Why is it only 54,000? That is, that makes no sense. Why is it so cheap? Why is it so cheap, man? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, it's round 28. No way he's sending me all out DDTs. Okay, let's get XXXL trap. Perfect. I want more of these because I do not trust. I do not trust. Uh, <laughs> I don't trust. I don't trust the cleansing foam. I don't trust it. So I need lots. I need lots. I don't know how much we just made there from that round. Felt like it was quite a bit though. I think we just made. Let's get more of these up to favorite trades, I guess. Does the... It, does the um, Trade Empire, does it buff Flavored Trades? It must. There, It buffs Merchantman, so it must buff Favored Trades as well. That would make sense, right? That would make sense, you know? Um, all right, so it is almost round 30. So Alan could decide to send me a BAD. And if he does, well, we are going to be able to defend it extremely easily. We are going to be able to defend it extremely easily because... Uh, we have Dartling, and we have NG. He's sending rainbows. Your rainbows are not going to do anything. Literally nothing. How much did we... We just made so much money there. Okay, this strat's not that bad. Moabs. Dude. Moabs, really? Moabs. I mean, they're actually kind of strong. But, like... Why is he saying sorry? Why? I literally have XXXL trap. I don't know what you think you're doing. <laughs> But I have XXL trap. 
Uh, oh gosh, I feel bad for Alan. I think, I feel like he just thought he was about to kill me there. But this thing's broken. Okay, should I end, uh, should I end Alan's day? We'll send him a, a non-fortified BAD. Maybe he'll counter with DDTs or something. Maybe. He's still sending rainbows. What does he think the rainbows are gonna do? I actually, I don't know. What, Alan, what do you think the rainbows are gonna do? What do you think your rainbows are gonna do? Does he not realize there's a bat on his screen? Oh gosh. Well, here's his DDTs. Uh, XXXL trap is a little bit broken. <laughs> it's a little broken, Alan. <laughs> All right, we can also get a mad up as well. All right, and let's go. We can get a pirate lord too. And no way Alan defends that, right? There's no way he defends this. We, oh gosh, there's nothing he can do. He could, whoa, we just got so much money from the, from the boats. The boats are actually not that bad, honestly. I think there's definitely better options than the boats though. Definitely better options. They make, you know, a decent bit of money. Let's boat pull those all in. Bam! All right. Uh, yeah, he's. there's no way Alan's defending this. No way. If he does, I will surrender. Well, wait. If he, yeah. If he defends it, I'll surrender. But there's no way he's defending it, so I'm not going to have to defend it. Anyways, we have, like, so much money. So many upgrades and stuff. Oh, we could get aircraft carrier, too. Oh, my gosh. Let's get this up. Yeah! Perfect! Aircraft carrier! Um, what other fifth tiers do I have? I don't really have any other fifth tiers. Oh, we could get, uh, Boone Exclusion Zone. Um, I think we want this. We'll target Independent. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get a Ray of Doom, am I? No, I don't have enough money. Can't get a Ray of Doom. Alright, let's, uh, Mad Ability. Bam, 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 boost. Victory! We won! <laughs> Trade Empire. Overpowered! Actually, no. I, I, I think it's cool. It's a fun option to do some alt eco but there's definitely better options but it's fun it's definitely a lot of fun so i mean hey if you guys got trade empire try it out on docs anyways that's me for today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like on the video and subscribe it really mean a lot but that's me for today's video it has been your boy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace